We've always accessed Typo 3's backend by adding slash Typo 3 to the end of our installation's URL. And with Typo 3 version 13, it is now possible to change the entry point used to anything we want, including the subdomain. In this short video, we'll look at the steps required to enable this feature. So the first thing I want to do is define what my new entry point will be. And to do that, I'm going to open up settings.php in my installation, and then look for the BE or backend section of my global array. Then I'm going to add a new key value pair and specify what my new entry point is with a leading slash. Now the last thing we want to do is change it to something common like login or admin, for example. Instead, think of something unique and something you and your team will remember going forward. We can also use a subdomain as our entry point. To do that, just add the full domain as the entry point and in the sys or system section, add your second level domain as your cookie domain. But in today's example, we're gonna keep it simple and just change our entry point away from slash typo three. Next, we need to change the way our respective web server generates and handles URLs. In the first example, we're going to modify our Nginx conf file. Now for my local setup, I'm using Nginx with ddev and the conf file is located in my .ddev directory. The location of your conf file is going to vary depending on how you host your Typo 3 installation. Once you've located your file, we only need to modify one line and that's in the location slash Typo 3 block. For our friends using Apache, we have a few extra changes we need to make. I need to remove two conditions and modify one rewrite rule. Okay, it's time to go ahead and test our change. Note that I can no longer access slash type of three. We can only ever have one entry point. And if we have multiple sites in a single type of three installation, each of these sites will use our new entry point. Don't forget, if you need to access the installation tool, you still need to do that via slash type of three slash install.php. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.